this week we have a rematch for the HEW Grand Prix semi-finals as Dan Stryker looks to get retribution against Lewis Blaine. Johnny Rose goes one-on-one -on -one with HEW Wrestler of the Year, the Foxcatcher David Toro. Where if Rose wins, he gets a shot at Bad Street's unified TV title. And if not, he goes to the bottom of the rankings and can't challenge for the title for the next 12 months. Welcome, catch fans, to this week's episode of HEW Wide. I am your host, Pete Crockett, and before... We get you over to the catch action. Let's have a look at where you can find HEW Live throughout the month of May. HEW Live rolls into the Gilt Edge in Kidderminster this Saturday, the 13th of May, and then it's HEW Catch Cade Cage Spectacular 4 at the Starport Civic Hall on May the 20th. Kicking things off this week, we bring you a rematch from the HEW Grand Prix semi-finals in which Lewis Blaine delivered not one, but two devastating heart punches to Dan Stryker. One to get the win, and one after the match for good measure. Understandably, the big boss Dan wasn't too pleased with this, so as for this rematch, which was gladly signed. So let's get you over to the catch tour and commence some rematch revenge count. Last week. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. Check his body and check his skin for that. On striker and Vancey uh, meaning to Vancey to the finals. Put him away. Put him away, striker, not very happy. And Lewis Blaine just stood in the other ring. He's going, it looks like he's just going to let Dan, Dan come out of here. He's even offering the arm. This is an unusual uh, tactic from Lewis Blaine. So now there's a. Is Lewis Blaine here? Oh. He was Stryker and wrestling lesson. Oh, there's a quick round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Stryker uh, oh, looks like uh, Lewis Blaine's been spending some time with Josh and Eddie. Yeah. Learning some wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling! Yeah. Now Lewis Blaine just uh, trying to overpower, overpower the dog. And Stryker now using that. Uh, that gigantic neck of his, powerful neck. And Ricky Adams, great break by Tom Stroker. See And now just forcing Lewis Blaine to the back, to the canvas. That row with the block. Oh! Stands on the hands, and the scalping on the hands. His new wrestling boots, breaking those hands, can't set broken. We can go those knuckles, that heart punch is going to be effective. It's great technique by Dan Stroker there. Take away those, uh, take away those knuckles, as you said, Pete. Take away the heart punch. <laughs> Clubbing four out to the back, and another. The rush champion is four here. And just dropping that near now. Oh, now he's trying to. That's a great jaw. Just wrench that neck, and that jaw of the bad striker. Now he's getting those clubbing blows. Oh, right across the chest of Dan Striker. Dan's in a lot of trouble here. Oh! Big chop on the back there again. Just again now, Lou Blaine is just wearing Dan Stryker out, just rolling him back and forth. The Stryker makes it to the right, has to break the height. Oh, he's a big stomp to the spine, right across the spine. Oh, yeah. Dan Stryker's in a lot of trouble here. Oh! Big chops! Big chops right across the air! The Lewis Blaine now is going to learn. Oh, just dropping all that weight down across. And now just trying to uh, hyper extend that shoulder. And an arm bar PD. Solid one as well. And now just trying to. Uh, just manoeuvring down wherever Lewis wants it with that armbar. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. The uh, now as he's trying to uh, roll Stryker over into it. Uh, 
This show is going to get on as you get the shoulder up. Dance it in, loose out, goes the outside. Oh, is completely in control here. I'm surprised at this tactic from Lewis play. He needs complete control. And now I think he can play his hands stinging from that shot. Remember yeah. the stamp on the hands as well, Petey. Yeah. They need that stamp on the hand and that big up shot. Might have actually done more damage to uh, Lewis Blaine's hand than to a striker. Not starting to count here, PD. Spent three matches saying that uh, Mr. X was showing signs of uh, a new attitude, but now I'm beginning to wonder. Mm. Now, Mr. X got his strike and he's uh, oh, the strike and low. I didn't know how many he's uh, I didn't know how many Still in post, and then he just wrap it up again. Again, just driving that right hand right into that metal ring post. As you said earlier, Pete, if uh, Lewis Blaine can't punch, you can't hit the heart punch. Looks like Dan Stryker's uh, pulling out that before the match. Oh, and he's going to say leg drop. So devastating. Cheers, Matt Bayer. He gets it away from the back of the pull of the head there. To break this count. Striker just trying to do what he can to get to the line. Oh. And I don't know whether that is low from, uh, from Lewis Blaine. No, it was all straighter than the head yeah. there. Mr. X claiming he was on the side of the leg. We've seen this in Lewis Blaine before. Just getting to the order. But let's get it dry with that inner lady. He's going out of his toes, right into the eyes of Dan Stryker. What is that putting on the end of his hand? I'm not sure. All I can see is that. Just check it. Show this certainly nothing at all. And he's just trying to make it up. Lewis Blaine has got absolutely nothing in his face. You can already see the hat prints on the back of that side of Lewis Blaine. We go now just checking those tights. We're so thoroughly checking those tights. Just running it against the eyes of Dan Stryker. Dan's in a lot of trouble here. Dan and his right to show you the... It's like Brandon's new friend. He doesn't have to lock to any of his skill weapons at all. Just grinding strike away right across the top of that, uh, that top rope. That's why he's a boy taking a lot of punishment. He's in a lot of trouble here, Peter Cocker. I'm not sure we've seen the, uh, the Rush champion in as much trouble uh, on his own. Great for the top step, indeed. Oh, he's 
after Dan hit him with that big fist as well. Lewis had enough of Alton to be able to uh, grab hold of the bone rope, roll to the outside, knowing that he's in big trouble here with the Rush champion. Danny White beats. Danny Lewis Vega. Got it, got it. Oh, just goes to the knee. Oh, just trying to loosen up that leg of Dan. Take away the speed game. Oh, now going for the uh, Indian left arm. The legal stretch. Vincy Prince, that's me for uh, the Lewis Gray. Yeah, just stretching that out here. So hard to break this manoeuvre. He's probably going to do it into the cover. Oh, the power of Dan Stryker. Lou Fray's high up in the right there. And the baseball side, John Keeper sends with his blade outside. And the ring is striking us. Quick to go after him. Lou Fray, no one has anything to do with her. Lewis wants to get Bessie in the corner. Lewis Ray is a, he's got that for the half and he's got that glove. He's got that parry glove, so I'm ready for that half punch. Oh! Just going to be a TKO for you. Hey! Hey! Let's see anybody check out that half punch in here with HGW. Lewis looking at the captain over here on the camera. Striker managing to go over to the ropes in nine and a half. Oh, oh, that's that's it. It. Lewis has taken some of the show posted for our HCW YouTube and Ben Brands. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the HCW first champion, Josh man's arrogance getting the better of him as nonchalance turns to upset as a HCW Rush champion manages to get some retribution against his former Team Wessex mentor turned rival. To book HCW for your venue or event, email hcwlive at yahoo.com or find us on Facebook or via the website. Now we turn our attention to the HCW Unified TV title or at least the next potential opponent for Bad Streets Gold, as the champ himself issued the following statement and challenge to Mr. Number One, Johnny Rose. Well, word on the street, the Bad Street, the Good Street, my street, it hates CW, is that Johnny Rose is calling the shots. Well, let me tell you something, Johnny Rose, you ain't calling the shots. Because I'm Bad Street, and I'm the one that's calling the shots here in HCW as HCW Unified TV Champion that I am. So, let's put things into perspective. You say this stuff, yet you're the no good cheater. You cheated when the Mega Flowers met bad experience. You used a weapon and an illegal hold on my friend and compadre, Mr. X. Well, I'm not buying that. I'm not having you accusing me of cheating and then you doing that to him and cheating to try and win that tag team match against Bad Experience. Oh, no. So I got a little proposition for you, Johnny Rose. I ain't gonna be accepting no title match off you because you don't deserve one. But, <laughs> and that's a pretty big butt coming for you because between me and you, it's all about big butts and arm matches, especially with you. <laughs> so here's the deal, Johnny Rose. If you can beat the Foxcatcher, David Toro, 
at War Village Sports and Social Club, April 29th. You beat him, you got yourself a deal. You got yourself a title match, my friend. No questions asked. And like I said before, but if you can't beat him, not only do you not got a title match for a long, long time afterwards, but you go down in the rankings to number 10. <laughs> How's that sound, boss? That's right. It's all or bust. You go below 80s, Elliot. You go below Justin Eddie. And you go below the man that likes to give it the big one in HCW. Turbo Tommy Davis. You go below all of those in the rankings. And I remain the champ. <laughs> What say you, Johnny Rose? Are you man enough to accept my challenge? Because that's the way it is, and that's the way it's gonna be. Yeah! So, if Rose gets the win, he gets his shot. If not, it's down in the rankings and no title shot for a year. Let's get you back over to the Catchatorium and commence some cat. Foxcatcher on the same diet as Maple Leaf Matt Adams is. Okay, we go to the line here for Johnny Rose in this match. It's a lot to put on the line, isn't it, for Johnny Rose? No uh, title match for 12 months if he loses. And in the uh, US. So, Fox Catcher and Elder Rose are very strange to each other. So, uh, Fox Catcher is either. Of course, we're back uh, way, way over two years ago, way over two years ago, Pudi. Joey Lowe became the first ever HGM TV champion, certainly did. And his uh, first defense, the Fox Catcher. Of course, now the TV title merged with the uh, Unified title. It's the Unified TV Championship. Johnny Rolls held that title for a long, long time. But he's bad street cashing in his... Uh, Catch for the catch for the right here, all the way here, all the way right here, TV. Catcher, the quick with the two men. Maybe the more cunning of the two men. Although, uh, you know, Johnny Rose has uh, been out for a long time. He's seen it all. This is the type of thing you really need to, uh, you really need to pay to play. <laughs>
Johnny Knight steps in there, Johnny from the You're cross right. catcher. That time otherwise, I don't think the cross catcher would have had that strength or leverage to push Johnny back. Looks to be in a lot of pain. Hold it! Get him around here, 
Not sure Fast Catcher knows where he is, Peter. He's uh, extremely deflated. He's definitely not blowing out as much bigger as he did on his way to the ring. No. He's taking a punishment to the Spud region. Catcher. Even when you think he's out of it, he lures Johnny into a false sense of security. The real asylum is false for his name after all. Big shot to the, the uh, kidney region. They need a very sorry just a stunt to the gut right in the bread basket there. And again, now he just sinks the bigger man down into the corner. Those no shots with some venom to the false catcher. We could see you know, the false catcher play there. Uh, John a lot of trouble here. It's amazing how quickly the sides turn in this match. Big, big elbow drop in it. This is the big guy there. Fox Catcher. Fox Catcher going with the three. Again, John Fox Catcher just going to work on that trapezius. That's the guy now just going to put Johnny to sleep. Respect him and have one in the first place. Johnny, I like the call here, Pete. Fox Catcher will be putting it to sleep. Indeed, Johnny Rose is starting to fade. Fox Catcher, great tactics by the Fox Catcher. Show Charlie the bigger man, there's one. Show Charlie the bigger man, didn't have to pin it. There's two. So no how big you are. Oh, I like Johnny Rose. I like being Johnny Rose. John aware of the uh, premise of this match. If he loses the beat, he's out of the title picture for 12 months. Indeed, John Allen needs to brief this business. Indeed, Craig Johnny Rose. Poe with the title picture for so long. Just, just pulling Johnny Rose right back to the canvas by his, uh, by his side of this year. And now we've got the first one to throw at the jaw of the fucker uh, there. We've got Johnny Rose. With this one, yeah, this one's at Marsh and the Fox Catcher for that. And now John, again, this one. Right. They normally, uh, you see on the, uh, on the side of the... Uh, the Fox Catcher and Team Apocalypse. Action. Just leaving it out there, those strokes on those shoulders. And the same Mr. X normally on the side, but he's going to be normally, but actually he's managing the Fox Catcher. He looks like he's doing his job here tonight, Pete Crockett. And then he could put a new leaf in the Mr. X. Johnny in a lot of trouble now. It's Chubby Sears worked all the big time by the box catcher. Ready to start things there. Set so with the time there. We're about halfway through. With the time there in this match, the time could be on a Johnny Rose's side here. With the punishment he being put through by the box catcher. 
the three, uh, three, three, three at a time limit draw. Oh, it's a pocket oh, tear. That's it. The pocket oh, tear oh, from uh, the box catcher. Oh, It's a uh, check out of seven there, uh, going over to the ten. Can we get some wind back in there? Boss catch just coming straight up. Just to tie it away into uh, Get on the pile. Fresh on. On Johnny Rose here. Do a camera for the Unified Team Champion. There we go. The boss catch you actually. Uh, does the job for Bad Street maybe a unified TV title match could be on the Fox Catcher's cards. Well, that'd be an interesting match indeed. That is a match I've paid to see the Fox Catcher and play a one on one with Bad Street. They think they need to see that match to be back here. They're going to speak to the JD and see whether we can, uh, we can arrange that in the future. We can't let the answer to this match. And then that is a match that we have fans here. The yeah, host of the community with our face, good money to see. The box catcher goes in third street. At the moment, we've got a big marquee match up on the NRE team. We've got big, and these fans here don't want to see Johnny Rose. Johnny Rose, please. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Johnny Rose just feeding off here. The community here. Johnny, 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 Find us on Facebook, on the internet, and on the YouTube. Just search HCW Wrestling. Johnny Rose, with a victory in his grasp, gets screwed once again by that villainous Mr. X. The masked referee seems to push and reverse the pin, and with a fast count to boot, sends Mr. Number One all the way to number 10 in the rankings and can no longer compete for a title for the next 12 months. Join us next week as we bring you the granddaddy of all tag team tournaments, HGW's first ever tag team battle royale for the Petey Crockett Tag Team Tournament Trophy and number one contender shot for Mo Money's tag medals. Pete Crockett Promotions. I've been Pete Crockett. Till next time, catch fans.